Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, this is Mr. Woods Teaches, and today we're going to be talking about how to divide fractions. What does it mean to divide a fraction by a fraction? Well first, division is dividing something such as a number into parts. In division, you learn to break larger numbers of items into groups. For example, 27 divided by 9 means how many groups of 9 can I find in 27? Well, let's take a look at it very simply on how to break up those groups. Let's break up these 27 dots into groups of 9. Here we go. So I have right here, there's 6, and there's 9, because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's look at the rest. Again, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that means that I have another group of 9 here. So I have 3 groups of 9. Let's look at the math for that. 27. And if I say D divided by 9 equals what? But I can also show that this way. 27 over 1 divided by 9 over 1. I'll get that 1 over here. And that is also equal to 27 oops, 27 divided by 1 or over 1 times 1 over 9. And that's called the reciprocal method. We're going to get there in a moment. And that is equal to, if you remember about multiplying fractions, that's equal to 27 divided by 9, which is that, or 27 ninths, which is equal to 9 times 3 is equal to 27, which is equal to 3 right there. So we've proven this group and how we can work it out, but let's look at a little bit deeper into these fractions. We have groups of equal size. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six circles broken up into thirds because it's one, two, three, three pieces. So three thirds. How many groups of two thirds can you find in six? Hmm. Let's take a look here. How many groups of two thirds can you find in six? Well, I have one group of two thirds. This is my two groups of two thirds three groups of two-thirds, four groups of two-thirds, there's five groups of two-thirds, six groups of two-thirds, seven groups of two-thirds, eight groups of two-thirds, and nine groups of two-thirds in six. Wait a minute. How did we determine that? We can write it out here. This is how we set it up. So I have six. Now, I know I'm working with fractions, so I'm gonna say six is over one divided by two thirds. That's kind of difficult. So I wanna make it so that it's gonna be a little bit easier to work with. So I have six over one times 3 over 2, and that's going to give me what? Well, I know that I can take this 2 here and take this here because 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So I, it's just this is just a 1 here, so 1 times 1 is 1, so I don't need to put that there. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Knowing your multiplication tables can help. It's I want to say it's key to working with a lot of mathematics and being able to calculate quickly. Let's look at another case here where it says you have three quarters or three fourths of a pie. How many groups of one third can you find? Well, I have one group here that's the red, two groups, and then there's a little sliver left over. Now I can go out and I can set up the problem where I have Let's see here, three-fourths. So I have three-fourths because that's the gray area there. Divided into thirds by one-third. 
okay and that's going to equal a number and, it, and it's going to be equal to two and something but how do you know what that looks like let's take a look at another way to visualize this so we're going to visualize three-fourths divided by one-third so start by creating two identical rectangles of four rows so I have one two three four rows that's from the denominator of three-fourths and three columns from the denominator of one three so there's one two three columns there so we're going to shade in three-fourths of the first re rectangle exactly three rows so there's one two three rows and then we're going to shade in one third of the second rectangle okay so you see how that is it's we're, we're working with equal parts here and we're trying to figure this out how many of these can fit into here and i have one two three four squares for this one third i know that one third is four of these so i did one two three four so that's that there's one of the one third then i have group two so the second group here one two three four i have this little piece left over one square is left so if i compare it to this one third here i this is one fourth two fourths three fourths four fourths make up this one third so therefore that one piece is one quarter and our answer is going to be two and one fourth that answer to this right here but wait let's take a look at that three-fourths divided by one-third okay and that is also equal to three-fourths times and this is the reciprocal method here where I take that three over one and that is equal to nine fourths and I know that two times four is eight so I can that is equal to two and I have eight or not rather nine minus eight which is one and one fourth with fractions when you're dividing them you need to remember there's some easier ways to solve this so we have the common denominator method this is where we have two fractions and they both have the same denominator and the numbers up top don't worry about those but as long as we have the common denominators then you can just divide by the numerators it's like whoa wait a minute how do I do that so it's going to be a divided by B which is a fraction a divided by B let's look at it practically so if I have three fifths divided by eight-fifths okay now we should get this here a over B and a is 3 and B is 8 but let's just work this out let's just take a look at this real quick so I have that would mean three-fifths times five eights And that also is equal to 3 times 5 over, and I'm just going to move this around, so I'm going to say 8 times 5. doesn't matter what order it is when we're multiplying. And that's going to equal to, uh, and I know it's going to be 3 eighths because these 5s just cancel out. I mean, that's just 1, right? So 5 over 5 is equal to 1. So now it's going to be equal to 3 eighths. If I just look at this here and I compare it to here, so let's say that's 3 fifths divided by 5, or uh, 8 fifths, we have that right here. It's just going to be 3 divided by 8, because I know I can just take that away, and that is equal to 3, and then divided by 8 because fractions are just division in a different form. Let's practice. Let's evaluate this word problem. Camille and her brother Eli want to create equal areas for a garden. 
they need to split three-fourths of an acre of land with their four other siblings. How much of an acre will each sibling get? We know that there's Camille and her brother and there's four other siblings, so there's six people. So there's six people. And they want to have an equal air, uh, equal share of this three-fourths of an acre. So I'm gonna say there's three-fourths. That look better for a three. And we're gonna divide it by six people. And that's the same as six over one. So how do we set this up? Well, that is also equal to three-fourths times one over six. But wait, let's simplify this. We can keep going and, and working this out, multiplying it out and such, and then simplifying it. But I can see there, because of my knowledge of the multiplication tables, I can see something here. So this is gonna be equal to three times one, okay, over, and I'm gonna switch it around so it's six times four, and I see some patterns here. So that's also equal to three times one over three times two times four, right? See what I'm doing there? I'm making it so I can cancel these out. So I'm gonna have one over two times four is eight. Therefore, each person, and I can write that out, I can just say each person gets one eighth of an acre. That's it for today. Remember, to be a mathematician, all you have to be is a person that does math. Like, share, and subscribe.